Luke is one of the four evangelists. The Catholic Church venerates him as Saint Luke the Evangelist, and as a patron saint of artists, physicians, bachelors, surgeons, students and butchers. He is often shown with a winged ox or a calf, because it represents the sacrificial aspect of Jesus' ministry. It's a symbol of sacrifice, strength, and service. The wing symbolizes that the gospel of Jesus is to travel throughout the entire world. The gospel of Luke begins and ends in a temple, and it is the only gospel that has the child Jesus presented in the temple. Luke also shows women as active participants in God's work, and an important part of the Gospel narrative. He notes a lot of women, that the other Gospels do not mention. Moreover, St. Luke is associated with Mother Mary, because only in his Gospel that important events in her life, such as the Annunciation, are described. We also hear the story of Mary's visitation to Elizabeth, the presentation, and the story of Jesus' disappearance in Jerusalem. It is thanks to Luke, that we have the scriptural parts of the Hail Mary, Hail Mary full of grace spoken at the Annunciation. And blessed are you, and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus, spoken by her cousin Elizabeth. Luke's is also the gospel of the poor and of social justice. In Luke's, we can find the story of Lazarus and the rich man who ignored him. He is the only one that uses blessed are the poor, instead of blessed are the poor in spirit and the Beatitudes. He shows Jesus, who always seems to go out of his way to reach out to those who were left aside, on the margins of society. It also contains Mary's Magnificat, where she proclaims that God has brought down the powerful from their thrones, and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. The Gospel of Luke also highlights the importance of forgiveness and God's endless mercy to sinners. Only in Luke, we hear the story of the prodigal son and the story of the forgiven woman washing Jesus' feet with her tears. Jesus always takes the side of the sinner who wants to return to God's mercy. Luke's Gospel portrays his character as one who loved the poor, who wanted the door to God's kingdom open to all, who respected women, and who saw hope in God's mercy for everyone.